This is the National Video Journalist Network. Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we've traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. really doesn't get better than Rodgers and Hammerstein and this being the very first musical as we know and love them. It's got many universal themes, love, hope. We've kind of got our own twist going, but it is the show you know and love. The songs are sweeping and heartfelt and gorgeous. You just get to go on that journey every time you sing those songs. Oh, I bet he's waiting hard to rig over to Claremore thinking I'd go with him. That's <laughs> all you know about it. Spent all this money hiring to rig and ain't got nobody to ride in it. Lori's a funny one. She's living on a farm with her aunt, and these two women are working this farm with their hired hand, Judd. There's a lot of pressure on Lori, and here comes along this cowboy, and he's handsome, and he's charming, but he's a little fresh. Never gonna think Basically, she doesn't want to be upset about a man. She doesn't want to feel her feelings, <laughs> you know? Um, she wants to feel like she's in control, and clearly she's not. She's head over heels for this guy. Who's the best bronc buster in this here territory? You a bear. And the best bulldogger in 17 counties? Me! That's who what? And looky here. Oh, hands. For a lot of people, you know, we put up defense mechanisms and stuff. I think for Curly, it's it's the charm because he's like, well, I don't want to be vulnerable. I don't want to be real in front of her, you know, so I'm, I don't want her to think that I'm weak. Don't take my arm too much. Don't keep your hand in mine. There's a moment in people will say we're in love and I get to spin Caitlin it's kind of the first time that you've seen them actually have a, a romantic moment. It was my third time playing Curly. And people are like, well, does it ever get old? And you're like, no, it never gets old. Our actors are, and singers are so good that they can take these 70 year old jokes and still make them funny. <laughs> I just saw the last one. You get Ado, who of course is like finally blossoming into her sexuality, and now she's like, I mean, she even says, you know, all the boys look different to me now, and it's like, well, yeah. I'm uh, driving Lori to the party tonight. You're driving Lori. I used to. Judd is a poor hired hand on, on Aunt Eller's farm, and he has fallen for Lori. What am I doing in this lousy smokehouse? The way that I like to play it is that he's really just sort of damaged and misunderstood and unfortunately also has a bad temper. When the sun flicks my eyes, it was all a pack of lies. I'm awake in a lonely the song that I get to sing is one of my favorites. It's called Lonely Room. It's interesting to me because this is one of the longer plays that gets done in the Broadway repertoire. And so often many songs, they get cut. And Lonely Room is one of the first ones that often hits the cutting room floor. So I'm really fortunate that I get to sing the song. I love standing backstage and listening to the title song. It's just, it tap your foot and it, I just think the music is so amazing and our cast sounds so incredible singing it. 